All right, let's start at the beginning. This is the nine. This is the nine of swords. So it does feel like you're overthinking a little bit. You may have trouble sleeping. You may have trouble digesting right now. It does feel like your creature comforts are being a little challenged at this time. I'm also feeling a little pressure around your head. So it may manifest, this stress may be manifesting into headaches, lack of sleep, uh, trouble eating, things like that. But it does look like something's very heavy on your mind right now and that it is causing a disruption in, in sleep and maybe even thought patterns. It may have put you into a sad place. So what crosses you is the Page of Swords. And of course, pages are all about messages. Swords are usually about communication. So someone may be um, coming to you with news of a problem. Usually swords can be a little challenging. So this can be problems and difficulties, troubles that can relate to even a young person uh, because it is represented with this young person. So the pages, it can represent children. If it does represent a child, it would most likely be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. But it does feel like that you have to have some chats with people either in authority. It could be your life partner. But it does look like something suddenly came up within the last month or two it's feeling a little uncomfortable and it's time for you to speak your piece about it as I said it may be work related as well because you have these acolytes right here um, so for some of you I should say it may be personal for others it may be uh, having to do with your finances or your job but it does look like a uh, some kind of communication is in order um, so you can resolve some of these things, but it does look like you're sitting on some stuff and some stewing on some stuff, and it is causing you problems with your creature comfort, sleeping, eating. Um, it could even manifest as a headache. So it does look like it's time to have that really tough conversation, whomever it is. And it does feel like it's somebody that is close to you and that you respect. The five is right here. Fives are usually challenges. It's right in between the journey, uh, between the one or the ace and the ten of each suit. So the five is right in the middle of an issue. And it does feel like you're having to walk away from some tumultuous stuff that may not even be um, involving you, but it does feel like it's, it's encompassing you. So this may be your partner's children. This may be somebody at work. Uh, so some, some argument or disagreement. Um, it does feel like you need to kind of surrender and walk away because it really doesn't involve you, although it feels like the people involved are trying to engage you in it, you know, to pick a side type of thing. Um, it does feel like you're learning a lot, you're growing a lot from just standing back and kind of watching the dynamics before jumping in and trying to fix anything, which is actually a new space for you, Cancer, not to try to fix other people's problems. So it does feel like it's a little uh, fruitless at this point. So you might want to step back, take a look at it and see what the dynamics are doing. It doesn't feel like it really was initiated by you, but you're kind of getting swept up in this. So this could be a life partner's children, something like that. That's really not sitting well with you. So then we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a great card. It's like when all these great ideas and projects start shooting down from the heavens. It does feel like uh, you might have been trundling along through the summer, and but now all of a sudden you have all these projects or all these things on your plate. Uh, there is a lot of movement here, so you may have actually physically moved. Uh, from one home to another, from one state to another. Um, and it is in the past position, so if it isn't happening now, it probably already happened. But it does feel like some movement has happened and some projects are being kind of put on your plate. And it does feel like fun things, things that you um, are very excited about. But these, it doesn't look like all of them are projects. It uh, um, pretty much uh, it looks like there are possibilities. You get to pick and choose a little bit. So it's not like somebody dumps something on your plate. It's like you get to pick and choose some creative projects. This may be within your work environment. This may be at home. If you're an artist, you may pick up the brush again, something like that. But it does feel like you're incorporating some of your passions a little bit more into your daily life. So if you're an artist, if you're a dancer, if you're a writer, it does look like those things are coming to the forefront of your mind. Although with this kind of hanging there, every all bets are off for right now until this is resolved. But it does look like you are creating some fun projects for yourself, something that you have passion about. 
The Page of Pentacles is here, and usually that also is, is about my, um, messages. It can be about money. Pentacles stand for, for physical things, material things, money. Um, if this is a person, it most likely will be someone younger than you, usually in a child body, but it can be a very immature child. I mean, a very immature adult, but it's usually someone under the age of 20, 21. And it is most likely an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, if it stands for a child. But the general interpretation of the page of pentacles it's really good news regarding money or material goods worldly ambition so maybe you are trying out for a new job so pay attention in the next week or so or in the month of november you will probably get some information on um either jobs or money or something that you inquired about and this can come in a written form this can come in a verbal form text form it can come in any form so just pay attention it can even come in the frozen food sections by someone you bump into so that page is here um, it does feel like uh, it does have something to do with money this may be a child that is kind of draining you uh, can be an adult child that's draining you financially and that you need to speak up about because it's on this line with money stress and stepping out of something that didn't start by you so it may have to do with someone else's child or it may have to do with something at work but it does feel like good news feels like good news around money and material things so the future card is the ten of wands and this is a very burdensome card when it is when it is straight up but when it is upside down it does feel like you have lightened your load you might have lightened some um, something that you've been paying you may be paying back taxes you may be paying a, a school loan something like that but it because it is this way it is forward it does feel like you have resolved so you may have made some of the final payments you may have made the last child support payment but it does feel like some of your time money and effort is being freed up a little bit as you move forward um, so it does feel like you've lightened your load a little bit um, as I said, you might have moved, so you might have moved into an apartment or a home that is more affordable. So it does feel like something is lightened a little bit off of your stress plate a little bit. Um, it does have to do with money, time, and energy. The judgment card is here. This is upside down. A lot of times when it's right side up, we're being super, super judgy on ourselves or others. Uh, when it is upside down, it does feel like you're going with the flow a little bit more, sitting back, reserving judgment. A lot of times this is a misconstrued card. You know, people look at judgment as a bad thing, that you're judging someone. Well, we judge everything before we make a decision. We are judging what will work for us and what will what won't. We have an opinion. So um, I don't look at the judgment card as such a negative card. It is upside down, so it does feel like you're going with the flow a little bit more reserving judgment or maybe negative thoughts we'll put it that way um, or opinions on someone or something and it does feel like this judgment has to do with uh, this decision or this uh, interaction that really doesn't involve, involve you but you're getting swept up in it so it does look like you're reserving judgment and that you're really watching how you present your opinion to people a little bit more instead of kind of blurting things out you know as water signs we just kind of blurt things out sometimes so it does look like you're reserving judgment a little bit more until everything is shown <laughs> before you make a decision before you um, have a judgment on something and this may also have to do with a very large decision that you're grappling with that you're kind of looking at all the situations before you jump in and make those changes so the two is here and the two she kind of shows up when you've been hurt in the heart sometimes um, so this may be a past love this may be uh, friends that betrayed you but it does feel like you're kind of really overprotective in your heart in sharing things of your heart um, this blindfold is lighting up this card can also stand for when you don't want to look at a situation for what it is so pull off that 
blindfold and really take a look at how it is, not how you want it to be. And it is right above the decision making, so that may halt your decision. Also, is not really looking at, at what's actually going on. You may want it to be this way, and this may be a partner because she's got her hands over her heart. So there may be something that normally wouldn't be in line with you and your partner, um, but you are reserving judgment to see what the full picture is before you make any decisions or judgments. But it does feel like you're super protecting your heart. You're also not looking at something that's right in front of your face, sweet cancer. So take a look at it. It is what it is. It's, um, you know, we can wish it to be something else, but it's time to really look at um, it honestly. And it really feels like it has to do either with a partnership, a friendship or some family member. So it's someone close to your heart. So they may have presented something that was an untruth to you and you found out something like that, but it does look like you're reserving judgment. You're holding off and you're, you may even be pulling back emotionally a little bit, but still in the situation. The queen of wands is here. Wands are really, um, about integrity. This can be a uh, person over 40. I don't delineate um, gender on my cards at all, uh, but wands are about motion. Usually wands kind of demand some kind of motion. If it is a person, it will probably be someone very wise or over 30 or 40 in a wands are fire sign. So that is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So this may involve a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries person. In general, the Queen of Wands uh, interpretation is it's a socially prominent uh, sign. So you may be getting invited a little bit more out of the house. So I encourage you to get out of the house, be a little more social. The queen usually reminds us to come on out and play with others. She's also a, um, has a position of authority and she's warm and honorable and, and she can be called to leadership. So this is around, uh, some of the honoring. So you may be getting a promotion at work, you may be getting a raise or just honoring for your contribution. So usually the uh, queen of wands, she's a little bit more visual sometimes than the other wands. You know, she doesn't uh, hide away. She's right out there like fire signs, like dig me. So um, this feels like it involves being honored for something and um, being socially prominent. So you may be in line for some kind of raise or a promotion or a mentorship of some kind where there are people underneath you. The uh, page of cups is here. Cups are all about emotion. So you've got three pages. So I would check those emails. I would reach out. Uh, it does feel like some communication is needed. This may be from your family. This may be from other people in your life that haven't heard from you. They may need some messages. But the cops are all about messages and love. Can be a marriage or engagement um, or take an emotional risk. So it does feel like either marriage or partnership uh, may be looking at and if you're already in a partnership this may be recommitting to one another you may have made some changes in your relationship over the last year um, a lot of people were looking at the relationship space this may be a new relationship where you are actually looking at marriage or uh, a long-term commitment of some kind um, on the other side of this for clarity is the six this is the honoring card this is um, getting recognized by your community, recognized by your for your contribution. See, he's holding this wreath up in the air. Um, and it also feels like you may have healed yourself on a physical level. Um, I know the last couple of months you've been working on some medical stuff, so you may have gotten some answers um, on how to resolve some of these medical things and moving forward a little bit. So it may be a celebration of good health as well, because I know cancer has been kind of working on health issues off and on for the last couple of years. The star card is here. This is also one of celebration. This is also taking great ideas from the heavens, manifesting them into the physical uh, space. Um, it does feel like you have an outpouring now of creative juices. So you may have picked up you know, the artist pencil, uh, uh, 
you know, and, and really embraced maybe some kind of artistry or whatever your artistry is. It could be building houses or going bowling, whatever it is. But it does feel like you are more connected with your art and your passion. And that may be because of this relationship uh, space moving up a little bit and you're having this and being a little bit more nurturing to you as well. So this is some kind of accolades, um, accomplishment, uh, but it is bringing creative essence down from the heavens and manifesting it into the physical plane. So that is your general reading, sweet Cancer. I have some of these lovers uh, oracle cards. Oh my goodness, that one. They're a little hard to shuffle, but this one just wanted to come right out. So let's see what it is. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. So that's kind of validating this upside down judgment card. Go with the flow before you reserve, you know, reserve judgment before you see everything that is presented. Just go with the flow um, and um, enjoy that journey. 